on just some work I did on ATM. I uh, installed one of the quick plug banks on uh, Qs one through six. I did that really to get the RJ45 output because I'm sending that out to a couple of mini slats testing and an idea I'm trying to work with a partner of mine for uh, next fourth show. Uh, a couple of things real quick. It's a real quick plug and play on that, that uh, quick plug installation. Just open up the back and really pop out the uh, regular Q strip and stick that one in there. On this one I actually did a, a lipo upgrade at the same time so I, that's a little bit more detail but uh, pretty easy to do as well. A couple of things, uh, you've got to have a uh, igniter or a jumper on each cue that you want to uh, utilize otherwise you will not have a complete circuit and you need to have that little shunt on the end of there as well otherwise you're not going to get continuity and it's not going to fire. You can see I got this in test mode and it we got continuity on uh, Q1. If I take this sucker out, <laughs> it's gonna go away. Let's see, it's it's done there. So you gotta have that in there. Also, that little black wire that comes with that shunt, that's a crossover style cable. So don't try connecting that, using that as a connector between any of these mini slats, even if you're testing. I know it's super short, but it's kind of convenient to sometimes use something that short when you're just testing. But that one is a crossover and it's wired basically flipped on either end. So it's uh, it will not work as a connecting cable like a regular Cat5 or Cat6. So anyway, I'm going to arm this thing and see if I can go ahead and get both these igniters to fire. Which I'm fully expecting they will. Get this on the right channel. And should be good to go. So let's see what we have here. They're on Q1. Alright, so they both fired good. So success.